So today is Monday, the Monday right before Halloween. Halloween is on Thursday. And to break up the monotony of school, we are going on a pumpkin patch and then coming right back home to do Halloween school. This is Vani from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool, and if you're new to my channel, we do videos on homeschooling, day in the life, tips and tricks, curriculum reviews, and more. So check out my playlist and subscribe if you like, and let's get into our Halloween school day. Come on. Ready? Yeah. Do you remember? going to a pumpkin patch before yeah we have it all to ourselves You're gonna sit with your pumpkins on your lap so mommy can take a picture. Okay. All right, you sit down. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna take a bunch of pictures. Okay, so we got our pumpkins and now we're headed home for Halloween school. Halloween falls on October 31st each year in Britain, North America, and other parts of the world. Like many other holidays, Halloween has evolved and changed throughout history and is a mix of pagan and Christian tradition. Over 2,000 years ago, people called the Celts. So we did learn the history, asked him a few more questions, and just wanted to for him to really understand what it was. So now we're going to read a little story, and then we're going to do our writing assignment. Um, on the unit study that I made, we're supposed to read the Magic Tree House Haunted Castle, but I couldn't find it at the library, um, and I didn't have time to purchase it on Amazon, but that would have been a good book to read this entire week. So for his reading, his solo reading, he'll either read some of the Halloween books that I got from the library or do his normal reading. We are going to read Halloween Is by Gail Gibbons. Halloween Is. I'd like for you to listen to the story. Halloween I am going to listen to the story while I play. Okay. Halloween is a fall celebration. Halloween started from many ancient beliefs and customs. So the reason why Christians feel that Halloween is bad, Aaron, is because God is not a God of fear and darkness. And fear and darkness and being scared is from the devil. So the reason why we don't do scary costumes at this age especially is because we don't want things of evil or fear in our lives. And as you get older though, cute costumes won't be something you'll want to do. You might want to get a scary mask or something, but not think of it as evil. So that's why a lot of Christians don't celebrate Halloween because they feel like all the evil costumes and out there. But you guys are dressed as Darth Vader and princesses and they're from movies and so that's okay. Okay, so the kids are really excited about carving their pumpkins and painting their pumpkins. So we're going to move on to the next three lessons, which is art, which is painting or carving our pumpkins. That ties into the Bible lesson that we're going to do. And then at the end with all the stuff, we're going to make pumpkin oobleg. And then Arilyn wants to make pumpkin pie. So we're going to try to figure all that out with just two pumpkins. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to eat my pumpkin. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Let's change our clothes. Alright guys, so first we're gonna talk about how being a Christian is like being a pumpkin. So God picks you from the patch and he brings you in. Then what did we do when we had a pumpkin? We wiped off the bugs and the dirt? Well God then washes all the dirt from us. That's all of our sins. Then he opens us up 
and he scoops out all the yucky stuff. He removes the seeds of doubt, the hate, the greed, all the sin from our lives. And then he carves a new smiling face, which is what we're going to do when we paint it. We're going to put a new face on this pumpkin. And then he puts his light inside of you to shine for all the world to see. So do you see how being a Christian is like being a pumpkin? And are you ready to decorate your pumpkins? All right. your pumpkin there so everybody can see it I'm gonna go get some spray so we can spray it see if we can keep it from getting yucky right away okay so the next thing in our unit study is writing so he is going to roll a dice and create his own Halloween story so we have here where these are the instructions and the first day he's gonna write the first draft of his story we're going to write it together so that his hands don't get tired and there's no whining about it. So he's going to roll a dice first to find the setting. And then he's going to roll a dice to choose the problem. And then we're going to write the story here. Okay. All right, you rolled your, you rolled your die for your setting? Literally, like, every time I roll, I get, a, I get How about you roll them both? Okay. And then one is for one page, one is for the next because you're going to choose setting and you're going to choose a problem okay so what'd you get two and a six all right so which one's going to be your two i'll let you choose which mix are you going to get who are the characters in our story and then we decided to trick or treat Are we new to the neighborhood? How come we never saw this house before? Oh, well, we've seen it before, yeah. We never went to it, so. Next. So he's written half of the story today, and he's gonna write the other half tomorrow. And now we're just gonna do a math lesson, and then we're gonna move on to doing our science, which is gonna be something really cool. And we are going to do, and then I want to roast the sunflower seeds. So let's get this math out of the way so we can finish up our school doing all the other fun stuff. Okay, now we're going to do our pumpkin oobleck. So we just used a little bit of the pumpkins inside because it was taking forever to get the seeds out. And we have a little bit of water in the blender and we've never done this before so it could be an epic fail. All right, so here. Put it in, and it says to blend it until it's until you get a smooth, thin consistency. Ready, Aaron? And after that, we are going to take half of a cup of the pumpkin goo and slowly add it to the cornstarch until you have the consistency that you like. I do. Don't you? It's like baby food. It's so hard. It's melting. Good ball. Okay. If you guys hands. have never made oobleck before, when you move it around, it becomes a solid, and as soon as you stop messing with it, it becomes a liquid. What? Wait, here we're mixing mustard. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a fun Halloween themed school day with us. There will be another video tomorrow and every day until Halloween. So um, these activities are all for sale on my Teachers Pay Teachers account. And thank you guys again for watching. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you can be notified when there's more videos. Take care.